My name is Patrick Danquitz. Um, this is Bantron Farm, situated 30 kilometers west of Choma. Um, we grow tobacco maize, pica nuts, table grapes and cattle. We are standing in our last planted field of tobacco. The variety is CC13. We planted it early December and had a very dry early December and then the wettest period we've ever had on the farm. We had 700 millimeters in 35 days. So the field suffered from extreme leaching and has not grown out as well as normal. Um, but with late top dressing and everything, we will at least be recovering some fairly weighty quality leaf at the top. Okay, so this year we changed to try with Plesivar. Before that, we would have done an application of either metoclopranid or chlorpyrifos in the planting hole, and then a minimum of two sprays for budworm afterwards. Um, with this, um, this particular field, it was only Plesivar at 280 grams per hectare in the planting hole, and right through to topping, so that's about eight weeks, we had absolutely no budworm, no sign of false wireworm. And only at topping did we start to see aphid pressure, um, which was then controlled with another chemical um, in with the saccharide. Pam and Syngenta came to give us a talk in Choma on it. Um, I was very interested because one of the things I do like is a chemical that can be put on pre-planting um, and lasts through to topping. That would give you six to eight weeks where you don't have to um, come back through at least once, but probably two or even three times with other chemicals. Because after planting, we tend to get very busy. Um, so I had already planted my irrigated crop and then got some Plesivar to try in our dryland crop. We did put some through the drip on our irrigated crop to see. Um, and it, although it was late and we had already had some budworm infestation, that seemed to stop. And in our dryland crops, I have to say, I have not found a single budworm leaf um, damage. So I'm certain it is a one-off chemical. It replaces two to three other chemicals and the time factor I'm certain will make up for it and we'll certainly be using it next year.